Hello everyone, it's me Abhishek Thapa. Today I'm back with another new video and I'm going to share you uh, the, my first uh, project uh, uh, is a part of a data science intern on code clause that is the sales analysis. The data set I have used in my project is from the Kaggle which uh, URL is uh, uh, given here. You can check it out. Uh, this project mainly focuses on a small part of machine learning uh, steps uh, that is the exploratory data analysis EDA uh, these are the uh, steps I have used in exploratory data analysis and visualization I determined uh, top three months with maximum and minimum sales top three cities with maximum and minimum sales mining the best time to uh, display the advertisement to maximize the sales uh, by considering the all the data sets uh, for all the cities to, together but uh, in this analysis uh, I have uh, uh, separated the data sets uh, uh, according to the city and then uh, to every particular city or specific city uh, I have uh, uh, plotted uh, the specific uh, plotted the sales process the hour line plots uh, and analyze separately uh, so that uh, for every city uh, there will be there may be different uh, uh, advertisement time uh, in order to maximize their products so and in step number five four uh, i have determined uh, top five most order or the sold products uh, all over uh, the united states or in our data from our, in our data sets and the best feature of my project is that uh, the market basket analysis using a priori algorithm and association rule mine rule mining and at last, uh, I have uh, written some acknowledgement and uh, given the references. Now, just have a cup of coffee in front of you and explore. Let's dive into the project. Step number one, importing libraries and loading data sets. Libraries like Panda, Matplotlib, NumPy, C1 have been imported. And I have loaded my data sets and I have viewed the shape of its, it and also uh, make a cop uh, copy of uh, my original data sets and making it so that I could make a, uh, changes to the duplicated data frame in step number two the uh, data pre-processing and the pre preparing data uh, preparing data sets uh, first I check for the missing values then I have dropped some uh, non values also check for the duplicate values and uh, by this I mean to say that if uh, my order ID ID is same for the for two or more columns also the product name is same also the quantity is same also the price of each is same and even the order date is same and also and the purchase order are same then this may implies that these two or more tuples may be recorded twice or noted uh, twice in our data set so they are considered as duplicate and we need to remove them for making our data set clean so I am dropping those values from our from our data sets and I have removed the duplicated data sets then after that uh, I need to uh, append uh, sales I need to calculate uh, sales uh, from sales as a product of the quantity order and the price of each and um, append uh, sales as a separate attribute to this data frame so for that uh, yeah, I need to check the data types of uh, every attribute so there these all attributes are at, uh, in object uh, form so all even the quantity order and the price of each are object uh, type so we need to convert it into the numeric form in order to uh, okay, compute their product and calculate the sales of uh, total sales of that product so that for that I have done this I have uh, uh, also there is a, uh, a column uh, which uh, topple value is same as the uh, column name so I have I need to remove this in order to you know, in order to convert the uh, object data type into the numeric form so and I convert the uh, to numeric using the two numeric method then our data set will looks looks like a uh, in order, uh, initially it was this and uh, con I converted into the uh, these are now floating points or the numeric data type then I mm, compute the sales value 
is like this and in this step number three exploited data analysis and visualization i computed the correlations and here you can see that the price of each and the sales attributes are highly correlated and that is the since the sales is directly proportional to the price of each items now the main process begins of exploratory data analysis first no, first uh, uh, task was to determine the top three month with the maximum and minimum sales for that we need to we need to extract the month uh, uh, data from the our date order date attribute in order to do, to do that we need to convert it into the pandas uh, uh, pandas date time uh, object object uh, so that uh, so that we can easily extract the uh, month value is like this uh, putting the d, uh, dot dt dot month it will return the month number uh, to our data frame so we will get the month number is the 8 look there, there was this is the month values 08 and it is converted into the and it is generated as 8 after that uh, we check the data types of our month number that is integer so uh, then uh, i have put this uh, month number into the uh, another month uh, attribute so that the 8 uh, in english calendar it belongs to the august and uh, sorting our sorting our main dia by month i have sorted uh, my data frame according to the month so that uh, i will get the uh, my data from the From the uh, from the January, but uh, it is not actually in the uh, uh, real order. Or from the January first to the January second, January third, not like that. But uh, from this, uh, it uh, will have the data sets of from the uh, firstly the January, and after that uh, it consists of the data sets of uh, February. But uh, uh, within that month, uh, the data are not arranged actually. So. Uh, we don't need that also for the analysis and we plotted the making the data sets ready for the bar graph so we need to plot this so um, i put this way and using the group by month uh, and sort false in order to for not arranging the month in alphabetical order we want uh, january february uh, like that so in this way in order to get this way we need to put the sort is equal to false and after that we plotted the bar graph bar gra graph here the le6 uh, appears that is the le6 stands the scientific note notation sorry notes on here uh, i mistakenly typed it and you can go through this uh, documentation and i have uh, plotted the bar graph of the month by sales of year you can see that uh, if the year uh, if the month uh, on the month of the december uh, the uh, sales was maximum and the, uh, on the month of the uh january it was minimum maybe uh, because in uh, in december because of the uh, holidays and the christmas the um, price the sales uh, has sales is being high sales was high on december because of uh, holidays and the christmas this is just my hypothesis uh, there are not nothing to uh, demonstrate and prove uh, my hypothesis so uh, th that is not our uh, task in order to demonstrate uh, let it let it be and now let's continue our project uh, analysis i also pr plotted the same graph using the c1 in order to make it uh, look better view uh, this is the alternative view same this was this is also giving the december the maximum sales and the january the minimum sales now displaying the top three month with the maximum and minimum sales uh, and uh, the top three with the maximum and minimum sales are december october and april month and the top three month with the minimum sales are january september and february and there may be the different reasons behind this we don't we don't need to know, know that for now now uh, second is the top three cities with maximum and minimum sales for that i need to um, i need to get the city name and get every better state name because uh, there may be the uh, same city name for two different 
states so uh, we need to we need to uh, distinguish uh, two cities differently of different states so that we are using both the name of the city as well as the state uh, the name and and for that i have uh, done this process and i have computed the city separately and state separately this is just uh, uh, for demonstration only um, actual uh, actually i have done uh, here in my data sets because i am i am just uh, copying my main data frame into the temp and doing this analysis does it working as i want or as i want to so uh, for that i have done a little bit of a hit and trial here and after my successful uh, uh, test i am uh, actually implementing or doing changes in my main data frame so i have created my duplicate in this way we can do analysis then after that i have a uh, um, group the data frame by city you can see that and i am just uh, taking considering the quantity order attribute and the sales and the summing the numeric uh, numeric values that is the quantity order and the sales are summed here look you can see that and I am resetting uh, the index so that my this city uh, ordered by attribute will be my uh, data frame attribute so that I can access it as a city but here I need to access it as an index so that's the main difference plotting the bar graph between the cities with their total sales now I'm going to plot and my plot is uh, looks looks like this you can see this code just by pausing I'm going to see uh, show you this uh, look how beautifully I am uh, I have actually managed it, it, took, it uh, took lots of time so uh, if you are um, getting my points and uh, uh, think this video is informative please don't forget to like and sus subscribe my channel now uh, displaying the top three uh, top or bottom three cities with their total says look uh, from this graph and the port, port, portland of ami look portland of or or this is uh, or means the abbreviated state name of united states and ami is the uh, also the abbreviated state name of united states and the portland the name of uh, name are both in the two states but the portland of ami have the least sales in million usd uh, and the maximum is in the sense mass, maximum sales was sales was a uh, happen in uh, san francisco of ca state so i am just displaying this See? after that uh, my thought task is to mining the best time to display the advertisement to maximize the sales so that for that i need to um, extract the hour hour values from my uh, order date attributes and in order to do that i just uh, uh, added another uh, python date time attribute uh, order date tto you know, by uh, converting the order date uh, attribute of uh, main underscore df you know, using the pd2 date time into the python date time so that i can extract the my date hour is a dot dt dot hour i already explained this before then after group by the hours a quantity or order because we are just uh, looking for the hour versus the quantity order and count reset index doing the same things and i am plotting the line plots and look the as we as you can see from the figure there are appropriately two peaks of at the, at the data uh, one this peak and this another peak and uh, this peak is just uh, at 12 am sorry 12 pm this is uh, 12 am and 1 am going to the 12 pm and another is at the 7, 19 means the 7 pm so you can see the two peaks they are at the 12 pm and the 7 pm from this data we can suggest to our business partner to advise uh, advertise their product right before the 12 pm or 7 pm it could be the 11 30 around or it can be uh, 6 6 30 pm around so that uh, our product uh, sales will be maximized 
now remember this chart is the total orders of all the cities thus making a specific chart for a specific city and planning accordingly for the advertisement will be far more productive than productive for that city so for that i am going a little bit deeper analyzing the city wise orders and making the specific chart it will be really better if we determine separately the best advertisement time for each city here we plot with the city with maximum sales that is san francisco and uh, minimum sales so i am going to analyze on uh, for the uh, san francisco which consists the maximum sales uh, in year 2019 and for the portland ami which is uh, which is the city uh, with the minimum no, minimum no, minimum sales in 2019 now for the san francisco i am uh, going to uh, group by the hour city quantity order and uh, making like this uh, uh, type of data frame and uh, extracting the uh, column of the column values of the san francisco and portland me separately and going to plot my line plot and this is for the san francisco uh, the plot of the san francisco looks uh, uh, similar to that of our uh, previous um, plot so you can see from this analysis and plotting similarly for the portland look in for portland there is little bit uh, different from our initial two plot lines and from this we can suggest that the best advertisement time will be before 11 am because look at 11 am uh, 11 am it is uh, one <coughs> there is one peak value at 11 am and another peak value at exactly the 7 7 pm so we can just uh, advertise uh, <coughs> just before these times in order to maximize our sales. Now, so, um, now fourth uh, steps at the fourth step uh, that is the top five most order or the sold products. For that, I am going to group by by product attribute and summing the values. And I have plotted the graph. Look, you can see that. And the maximum uh, sales is uh, for the four four uh, four packs triple A batteries four packs and uh, displaying that uh, top five uh, must order products by sort values the point by the quantity order in ascending equal to false means this is in descending order so that, so that the maximum will be at the top and the minimum will be at the bottom and the A triple A batteries four pack. A batteries are uh, ordered it, it ordered with the greater number because uh, these batteries are very cheap uh, so this was my hypothesis and I'm just uh, demonstrating and analyzing analyzing my hypothesis behind the most order or the sold product for that I have uh, plotted my graph like this this is the price for the each uh, each product and uh, this is uh, this uh, bar graph is uh, uh, the total number of the order items look for the uh, maximum number of maximum for the attribute triple a batteries four packs uh, with the maximum or the, total, the greater number of the greatest number of the uh, ordered because uh, this uh, the value for the triple a batteries is very low Look, this is the unit cost of the AAA battery. So this cost is very uh, uh, less. So it, uh, it is. It can be said that the, it is order the most. But uh, there is exceptions for the uh, laptops because uh, many people uh, uh, in today's world are using laptops because uh, and the demand is increasing. So even its price is very great. Uh, greater, uh, they are ordered in uh, greater number than other like dryer lg washing machines and these phones iphones sorry not iphones these phones and small picks then like that now ignore this warning this doesn't create any sense make any sense here but we don't need to we don't have to always uh, uh, use the warning module uh, module for ignoring the warning because ignoring the warning is not the good idea uh, because we need to know how to handle the warning what it want it is going to say and uh, what uh, does it make uh, any uh, uh, trouble in future or not so these things uh, will make difference so we don't need 
you don't uh, I'm, i suggest you and i recommend you that uh, don't uh, use the uh, warning modules uh, at the initial phase because we need to understand and uh, develop the skills in order to handle the warnings and the my best feature of this project that is the market basket analysis using a priori no algorithm and association rule you can go through the documentation because it takes uh, it took lots of uh, time uh, for making this uh, core works there uh, was lots of heat and trials uh, printing debugging uh, again uh, studying etc so uh, i have already studied uh, uh, these things uh, in my uh, data mining subject in my college so please go through this if you don't have any idea about the priori algorithm how the association rule mining works and the market basket analysis but for the quick uh, review uh, i uh, have given some important uh, definition about them and uh, this was just uh, for my testing phase so don't care this now the first step is preparing our data sets in appropriate form for a priori algorithm order uh, group by order id we need to make our data sets look like first look like this uh, this and finally we need to get our data sets like this uh, this is the uh, this will be the uh, transaction id and in transaction id or zero or one there is the a item for the column first for the second column b and third column c and if there is no values in the another column then put the non values this is our objective we need to prepare the data sets look like this in order to use the a priori algorithm so for making this i am going through various steps look uh, this took me very very large amount of time so please go slowly and go on checking uh, printing every outputs and debug uh, how the output is uh, coming uh, and uh, understand the steps and every processes just look if i am going to explain of all of our this it will do lots of our just understand what i am what we are going to do from we are making our data from our data sets to this and after this we are going to make like this okay i am going through these the steps and again i am reviewing uh, reminding our uh, target or objective and lots of return trial uh, finally go, uh, got the non 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 look how i split the data just go through it uh, i'm not explaining in this video sorry if you need a separate video of explanation of this last step i will make a, if a, the number of request is very large so and if you don't have if you have any uh, uh, queries then you can contact me on linkedin which link will be given in at the below so i will reach out to you and i will make you understand about my code okay and i have replaced the non values by the nan and applying the priori algorithm oh yeah finally i have got look into the uh, form which was our objective form which was our uh, what objective a target form and i have to uh, check on uh, check for the non values doesn't make any difference so uh, now applying the a priori algorithm first finding the rules from the frequent item sets of the two i have gone through these steps first step i have taken the length of the two and find the uh, rules and in uh, second step i have uh, taken the length of the item frequent item sets of length of 3 and extracting the uh, frequent item uh, sorry extracting the rules and the minimum support and the minimum confidence lift values are taken randomly for this task just for this task for the purpose of illustration or demonstration now please uh, i'm not going to explain it you can go through this uh, i'm just uh, uh, showing the glimpse of my code you need to install the app priori sorry this is not the uh, this will be the app priori not i think this if p y o r i yeah this will be correct sorry 
and going through this look uh, I have taken uh, I have applied where I have applied for look here here is my a priori I have and minimum support value this minimum confidence lift and the minimum length this is the uh, length of the frequent item sales that is true and uh, it will return the association rules I have uh, in uh, results and I have printed the results look you can this on comment these those commented lines and see the results and analyze analyze yourself you need to you know work hard yourself also in order to understand just by watching uh, five minutes of video uh, you will not get the complete idea just uh, uh, know how I approach for solving this project I have documented it properly I think and uh, why I have done this you will know if you are uh, going step wise so I am not explaining sorry and I have printed look uh, for the item sets of frequent to look I have beautifully printed and the conclusion of this was this is the mm, sorry this is the rules tables generated from the frequent item sets of two and I am not uh, uh, sorting by the uh, support I am so, uh, sorting it by is a, a confidence value confidence confidence attribute so that our table will be uh, ordered or sorted in the descending order of the confidence value just that is 0 0.18 0 0.17 now the from this we can draw the conclusion that the customers who buy the Google phone this is the antecedent we do buy the Google phones are likely 18% uh, likely 18% uh, likely to buy UVC charging cable this is the conclusion from these rules now again generating the item sets of 3 similar type of code looks I have put it the just 3 and uh, kept other values similarly and gone through the steps various steps and I have finally plotted my rules and this is uh, just written in a one block of course this took me lot, uh, around five to six uh, five to eight hours in order to uh, get this idea and uh, follow this approach so take it uh, slowly take time don't be panic now from this we can draw the conclusion that the customers who buy the lightning cable charging cable and the wired headphones Lightning charging cables and the wired headphones are likely are 48.83 percent likely to buy the iPhone. This is just a hypothesis uh, uh, and just for analysis purpose. Maybe um, having uh, real data sets, we can have a uh, real type of uh, results and the rules. So. Just understand how it is working and how, how it is giving us the conclusion, how we, how we need to conclude the idea. And this was my um, hit and trial and that is the analysis phase. So I am ignoring this. Now further enhancements we can do that you can use the MX, uh, ML extend that is the machine learning extension uh, for comparing the above results of market based analysis. I have used on the priori uh, library you can use the ML ml extend that is there is a frequent pattern something uh, libraries or sub libraries and you can use uh, they are in rich in features then that uh, and also they are easier so you can uh, compare these results uh, i have uh, not much more time in order to uh, do this so um, i'm just uh, suggesting and uh, recording or noting it down when will I will also be free I will do uh, this and compare uh, with above results you can suggest to the customers according to his order also by doing this analysis now I will lastly th I like to thank uh, uh, to everyone for visiting and exploring my ideas in the course I'm glad to say uh, this to you thanking to code clause for this golden opportunity to improve and enhance myself in the field of data science these are the references and you can contact me on uh, linked, LinkedIn and uh, the explanation 
video if you need the explanation video of market basket analysis uh, separately i will make a, another separate video and uh, i will explain and demonstrate every steps more detailedly so that you will get the uh, the concept i am using i used uh, in my code so please uh, keep supporting keep loving me guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you and bye bye